Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and this is a new set. It's a work in progress. I got a new desk. I finally have a new office. So we're just going to see how it works. So again, work in progress. Anything that you see here is not final. Let me know how you like it anyway. So what I want to do today is an end of the year Q&A video. So I asked you guys 10 different questions on Twitter, and I picked out the ones that I think I can answer. So let's just get right into it. So question number one, and they say a pretty simple one, but what got you interested in tech? So my dad is an electrical engineer and my grandfather was an aeronautical engineer. So there was always a lot of techie stuff going around in the house. My dad let me play around with his tech. I remember messing around on the keyboard. So I've always been fascinated ever since I can remember. I had Tamagotchis, then robots, then I moved on to Palm Pilots and eventually smartphones and computers. And my first phone was actually a Motorola flip phone, the E815. Am I completely botching that? I don't know. But I was able to go and hack it so I could use dial-up networking to connect it to my Palm Pilot so I could get internet and bid on things on eBay. But my first smartphone was a Samsung Omnia. So number two, what was the phone that met your requirements to be a daily driver? Or what phone did you have issues putting down to review other phones? That was definitely the OnePlus 5 in soft gold, particularly the soft gold model. I just loved the size of this. It was absolutely gorgeous. Love the fast charging. Love how nice and responsive this is. It's got six gigabytes of RAM. The eight gigabyte RAM model is absolutely awesome as well. I love what OnePlus does with the skinning of the Android operating system. And there's just something about these phones overall that just really work well with me. So it was very hard to put this device down. Number three, favorite smartphones this year. So I'm just gonna do a top five. So in no particular order, obviously the OnePlus 5 and the OnePlus 5T, which I also have right here as well. It's just got that larger display. Another completely gorgeous phone. Then of course we've got the Galaxy Note 8, and this is probably my favorite big phone of the year. Absolutely gorgeous screen. Notice that all of these are AMOLED displays. Of course, with the Galaxy Note 8, not only do I love the large screen, but I actually do really like using the S Pen. This is one of those phones that really feels like a mobile office. Samsung upgraded this to six gigabytes of RAM this year. So it's just been awesome. It's been an awesome performer. It kind of feels like having a computer and a mouse. Then we've also got the Google Pixel. Sadly, not the Google Pixel XL. I really have not been so happy with the screen on that one. But this has been a great little phone, very nice and responsive, fantastic camera. I'm actually going to be finishing the review on this. I took a little bit of time to give Google a chance to work out their crap. And also, I honestly wanted the Panda Pixel 2XL, so that is going to be coming very soon. And then the Xperia XE Premium, I don't have that on hand, but that was an amazing smartphone. I love that 4K display, and I'm excited to see what else Sony comes out with this next year. Then last but not least, the iPhone 10. So I really do think this is probably my favorite iPhone of all the ones that they've released this year. I just love the screen on this. And finally, Apple is just going in a new and different direction. So number four, personal phones. People ask me all the time, what are my daily drivers or what is my favorite absolute phone? It's really hard to have one favorite phone because I'm always moving on to the next thing but ones that will probably stay in my pocket until the newer phones come out this next year is the iPhone 10. So I will always keep an iPhone in my pocket. I like to have two different platforms. So the iPhone 10 and then probably the Google Pixel 2, just because I like things that are manageable in size still. And if not the Pixel 2, then definitely the Note 8. Number five, favorite tech this year. I'm actually not going to be listing smartphones at all. So I've got my Kindle Oasis. This is the second generation version. Waterproof, they claim. So I love reading. This works really well for me. And then of course, we've got the Nintendo Switch. I mean, hello. And then a close tie is the Pokeball new 2DS XL. I really love the size and the weight of it. So obviously then my favorite game this year is Breath of the Wild. Number six, what camera am I going to be using next year? What camera do I presently use? So this is the Sony PJ790V. It's a dedicated video camera. I really love the stabilization on this and it's just served me so well for so long, but now I'm going to be moving to 4K. And if some of you guys remember, I actually got the Sony A6500, but there were just so many little things that I had to compromise with that I just waited a little bit. And lo and behold, Sony released the Sony AX700. So this is a 4K camera. 
I still really love dedicated video cameras. It's got a fantastic lens on this, great minimum focusing distance. I really like that I can do a lot of things with just one lens instead of having to spend a lot and switch them out. This has great autofocus. I was going to go for the GH5, but it had such terrible autofocus that I, I just couldn't do it. So I'm really excited to start using this camera. I'll probably start out filming in 60 frames per second, 1080p, and then move up to 4K once I get the workflow going. Number seven, what is your computer editing setup? Well, I use a MacBook Pro. It's the 2017 version with the stupid touch bar, but otherwise it's it's been great. So during editing, I use a Samsung T5 scratch disk. I will get a two terabyte version once I start really using 4K. And because Apple insisted on getting rid of all of the ports and they just have USB-C, I needed to get a dock. And this is the best dock right here. So this is other role computing's Thunderbolt 3 dock with 13 different ports. And look at that! I've gotten the ability to use an SD card slot again. Then on the front we've got a headphone jack and audio jack. This thing has several USB 3.1 ports on it, and two of them are high powered for faster charging. There's also an Ethernet port on it. You've got some legacy ports, FireWire 800, NES, PDIF out. Then of course two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one that you plug into the computer. So you can power a couple of monitors with this thing, and it just works really well for my workflow. So I have to thank other world computing so much for sponsoring this video and also for giving me one of these so I can get my work done properly. Number eight, predictions. So what are my predictions for smartphones next year? So I think that we're going to start seeing some foldable displays, still probably more with prototype, but who knows, maybe we'll actually get to purchase a foldable phone next year. Mostly I think we're just going to continue on the trends of this past year. So we're gonna have large AMOLED screens, small body with these big screens. Maybe we'll start inching up to 4K AMOLED displays for virtual reality. Not betting on it, but I'm sure that people would love that. I think we're gonna have more facial recognition stuff. Of course, we're going to see camera improvements, lots of Snapdragon 835 phones, and more artificial intelligence. So it's probably gonna be just incremental updates from this past year. Number nine, what do I do with my devices once I'm done reviewing them? Most of them I keep and I hold on to to reference for future reviews, but Ones that I don't use anymore, I will give to immediate family members. I'm kind of the smartphone lady. They know who to come to if they need a phone. And then lastly, what is my favorite Christmas movie, somebody asked. And that would be Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. That's something I love to watch every single year. And it's one of those movies that I would watch regardless of whether it was Christmas time or not. So in this upcoming year, I'm just going to continue working on this set try to get it to look as good as it can. I hope that it looks okay for right now. So I hope I answered all of your questions. This has been Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye!